Hey everyone, I just want to come to you today and talk to you the reason for this channel. This channel is going to be called Truth is Lacking. The reason for it is because, well, we have truth lacking in our culture, and more importantly, we have truth lacking within the church holistically. Truth is the thing that that propels everything forward. When we believe lies, we have difficulties, we have problems. Most of the time, now turning it spiritual, when we don't have truth, we fall into sin. Isaiah 59 talks about a truth lacking. God goes through the evil and oppression that is facing his people Israel and all of the calamity, everything that they're going through, many issues and many problems. And God says at the end of this, truth is lacking. He says, Isaiah 59 Verse 14, justice is turned back and righteousness stands afar off for truth has stumbled in the public squares and uprightness cannot enter. Truth is lacking and he who departs from evil makes himself prey. It got so bad that anybody who turned to truth and turned to try and speak truth and follow truth, they were attacked. They became as prey to predators. Now, remember, Jesus also said when he was sending out his disciples into the world, he said, listen, I'm sending you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. So be as as wise as a serpent and gentle as a dove. This is something that we have to realize as Christians. We have to proclaim truth. We need to speak truth. And any time that we conform to the world, we are desecrating truth. Now, truth is interesting. Truth can handle an investigation. What I mean by that is this. If something is true, you can investigate it and research it and and try to pull it apart and truth will stand. It will uphold itself. Truth is self-evident. Equally so, Truth can handle the interrogation. When we think that we have found truth, let's try to dissect it and rip it apart, pull it apart, even better, try to disprove it. Truth can handle both the investigation and the interrogation. And that's how we can find solid, real, absolute truth. And yes, I do believe there is such thing as absolute truth. Truth is not relevant. In fact, truth Um, by definition, is exclusive. Not everything is true. But look, we've turned to a society where we are subjectors of our own truth. Uh, Morality has become uh, become subjective to individuals. But when we have done this with truth, so bad has it become um, that Ravi says um, that we have gotten to a place where we will reinterpret an author's words, reinterpret it to our own truth, subjecting it to our own narrative, reinterpreting the author's words regardless of their intent. Think about that. We will reinterpret somebody's words to fit our own narrative regardless of original authorial intent. And that is accepted and promoted. How is that possible? It's because truth is lacking. And listen, church, this is our responsibility to proclaim truth have to proclaim truth. Hosea 4, 6 says this, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I reject you from being priest to me. And since you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. These are pretty strong words that God is saying. Right before this though, you ask yourself, how could we have gotten to this place? How could God say something in the days of Hosea, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because they have rejected knowledge? Look, right before that in verse 5, verse 4, he says, Yet let no one contend and let no one accuse, for with you is my contention, O priest. You shall stumble by day, the prophet also shall stumble with you by night, and I will destroy your mother. For my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because you have rejected knowledge. I reject you from being priest to me. Malachi also records something very similar in Malachi chapter 2, where they had corrupted the covenant of Levi, they had forsaken truth, they had forsaken knowledge, and they, in, in sense, taught the people to do the same. Now, it's easy for us to pass the blame and pass the buck onto somebody else and say, well, somebody else's fault. Well, no, Christian, it is your fault and my fault. We equally are responsible for speaking truth. When we stand before the Lord God and he asks, what have you done with my, my, my knowledge? What have you done with my truth? He's not going to allow the, 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 um, 
the passing off the buck. Well, I've learned this from so-and-so. I did this because of so-and-so. You are responsible for what you learn and what you do with the commissioning that God has given you. You are responsible. Just look back in the garden, right? Adam tried blaming his wife Eve. Eve tried blaming the serpent. God gave judgment to all three of them, but he did not allow the blame to be passed. Judgment was given to all three. Likewise to you and me, O oh church. Listen, we have got to speak truth. We've got to proclaim truth. And the reason why we're seeing the place that the church is in currently, the place that our country is in currently, is because truth is lacking. And now is the time for you and I to arise. Proclaim truth. Speak it boldly. Speak it clearly. Articulate it well. But most importantly, proclaim it with love. And you and I have been given a mission a commission, if you will, from the Lord God himself to go out in all the worlds and make disciples. Old men, old women, you are responsible to train up the younger men and the younger women. So many times I see it now done in so many circles where the younger generation is telling the older generation what they want and the older generation who's in leadership says, okay, that's what we'll give you. That is not the way we have learned in Christ. The worker of Christ needs to be able to rightly divide and handle the word of truth. The Holy Spirit's job is to lead us into all truth. Truth is a serious thing with God, and he is not the author of lies, and behold, there is no life found in God. So, a Christian, let us come to truth, proclaim it well, proclaim it in love, and speak the hope and the, and the glory and the message of Jesus Christ. God bless you guys.